basic concept behind Twitter is that it allows you to send a very brief message of about one sentence, 140 characters, and have that get sent to anyone else on Twitter who wishes to follow you. So whether you're logging in on a website or using text messaging or a mobile phone, you've got the ability to share real-time information, uh, whether with friends or colleagues or larger groups of people, if you have more people than that following you. The way I've used Twitter over the last couple of years has been to identify who are the major actors in different revolutions and protests, particularly in North Africa and the Middle East, and identifying those who are active online as part of organizing their protests and uh, revolutions as well as documenting them. Mm. And so my Twitter account allows me to essentially embed myself as a reporter within these communities of protesters and revolutionaries and not only follow them in real time, but as we're trying to deal with the fog of war and, war and separating uh, truth from fiction, uh, I would then work with my other Twitter followers who have a whole range of subject matter expertise mm. that they apply to helping me research the claims that people are making in real time. And so when there's breaking news, for example, during um, the, the Libyan civil war last year, we had people who were doing everything from tracking uh, airplane routes and shipping lanes to uh, looking at timestamps on videos to see if they matched celestial patterns in the skies from what mm. they could see where the sun was at that particular mm. moment. So your followers are actually helping you with research with the journalistic work Right, they work basically of... do a, f a forensic uh, archaeology of, mm. of, of real-time information.